Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to move everything over from your internal drive to an external drive. Now, I've already done a video on this, but the old one is a little old and out of date now, and I need to make a new one with the current and relevant information. So, a lot of people when they get scratched live, they start off with their laptop's internal drive, and as their collection grows and gets bigger, they start running out of room, so they go out and buy a new external drive. And then they wonder how to copy everything over from the internal drive to the external drive so they don't have to redo all their crates and stuff like that. Well, this is possible, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. Uh, there's two things you need to do in order to accomplish this. First is you need to copy the Scratch Life folder from your internal drive to the external drive. And then second is to obviously copy all your MP3, WAV, whatever music files from your internal drive to your external drive. Now, so let's take a look at the first part, and that is copying the Scratch Live folder. On your internal drive, go into your music folder on a Mac or your My Music folder on a PC, and you're going to see the Scratch Live folder right here. This is the main folder the program, Scratch Live, stores your crates and all that good stuff for songs on the internal drive. It also stores things like the effects in 2.0 and 2.1, all your history sessions and past sets that you played, uh, that display in the history panel in Scratch Live. Uh, if you use a MIDI controller, your MIDI settings are also stored in here as well. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is copy the Scratch Live folder. So right click it and copy or Control plus C or Command plus C. And go to the root level of your external drive uh, right here. And we're just going to paste it right here on the root level. Now we also need to rename the folder. So just highlight it. And if you're on a Mac, you just hit uh, Return or Enter. And uh, what we need to do is add an underscore to the beginning and end of the folder name. So the folder needs to be titled underscore scratch live underscore. All right. Now the that was the first part, and that's the easy part. The second part is we need to copy all the music files and folders, all your MP3s, waves, uh, whatever uh, music format you use, uh, from the internal drive to the external drive. Now this is going to vary from user to user, but on my computer I store it in uh, my internal drive in the music folder and then I have this folder right here called House and Techno 2010. Uh, this is my main uh, music folder and if we go in here here's all my subfolders for the various months of 2010 and then finally in those folders I have all the songs that I purchased that month. Alright so all you really need to do is copy the main parent folder and everything inside it will get copied over as well. So uh, highlight your main parent folder that all your music files and folders are stored in and we're just going to right click and copy this and we're also going to then paste it onto the external drive. Now it doesn't really matter where you put it because we're going to use the relocate lost files option in Scratch Live. However this doesn't work sometimes for a lot of people for whatever reasons I don't know why I never have any problems with it so uh, you can also if you want to guarantee that it's going to work and you don't have to use the relocate loss files is basically you're going to want to recreate the same folder path on the external drive as the songs are on the internal drive. So what does that mean? You're basically going to want to create the relative path after the Macintosh hard drive. It doesn't matter. Uh, Scratch Live doesn't care what the hard drive's name, but the relative path after that. So users, my name, which is Todd, and then music, and then it would be this folder right here, House and Techno 2010. You can just recreate this same folder path on the the external hard drive and you'll be golden then you won't have to use the relocate lost files at all. Uh, but I'm going to use the relocate lost files method so uh, if you're using this method the relocate lost files it doesn't matter where you put the folder so I'm just going to paste it here on the root level of the drive uh, which I've already done just to save some time so here it is right here. Uh, obviously if you're going to be copying 100 gigabytes worth of files this is going to take a while which is why I copied it in advance so uh, alrighty so now we have the scratch live folder uh, paste it on the root level. We've also renamed it to underscore scratch life underscore. And here's my folder right here that has all my subfolders with my music in it. So uh, we have all the music now on the external drive as well. The last step we need to do is go back into the internal drive scratch life folder and we need to rename the scratch life folder in here to something else. It doesn't really matter what. Uh, I'm just going to add uh, scratch life underscore old. Uh, it doesn't matter what you rename it to. Uh, basically what we're just doing right here is uh, renaming it to prevent Scratch Live the program from reading this folder uh, to so it doesn't load the crates and all that stuff from the songs on the internal drive. So uh, finally let's load up Scratch Live now. Okay. 
and here we go so all my crates are still showing up looking good right here now if we go into a crate and let's add the location column right here uh, you should see alright here we go we have volumes my book uh, that's the external drive good but it's still thinking these songs are still in the old folder path on the internal drive if you remember that would be in users my name music and then this folder right here the first thing we need to do is click on the files panel and then click on rescan id3 tags now what this is going to do is it's going to turn all your songs pink and missing pink and missing as you can see right here all my songs are pink and missing now we try to load one up it's not going to work it's going to say file not found so what we need to do now is use the relocate lost files option in the files panel as well. And all you need to do here is navigate to your external drive right here, my book, and find the parent folder that has all your music in it, which is this one right here. And all you need to do is click and drag that onto the relocate lost files button. And you should see looking for replacement files in volumes, my book, blah, 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 all these folders. So I'll give it a minute and Scratch Live will... Uh, hopefully, if it works correctly, it'll start uh, rescanning the files, and there you go. They're no longer pink and missing. So if we go and try to load one up, uh, there it goes. Loads fine. Everything's looking well. And that's uh, pretty much it. So that is how you move everything over from the internal drive to the external drive. Now, a couple other things we need to tidy up. Now, when you close Scratch Live, you're going to notice back in your internal drive's music folder, you're going to see another new Scratch Live folder right here. As I mentioned... Uh, there always has to be a Scratch Live folder in your internal drive, uh, in your music folder. This is the main parent folder uh, the program needs and looks for. It. Now, as I mentioned, uh, it also stores like your history, your MIDI settings, if you use a MIDI controller, the effects, the new effects in 2.1 and 2.0. So if you still want all that stuff, go back into the old Scratch Live folder that we renamed in the previous step, and you can just copy those folders like the MIDI folder, the effects folder, and the history folder and just right click and copy them and we're just going to paste them into the new scratch live folder that was just created uh, so we'll just paste them here and you might get a do you want to replace option yes we're going to, want to replace them all and there you go so now you won't have to redo uh, you know re, re map your MIDI controller and all your effects and stuff will still show up in the program and that is uh, pretty much it so if everything worked well you can go ahead and delete uh, all the music files and folders on the internal drive and the old Scratch Live folder. Uh, there you go. So let's just test it out one last time. And uh, here we go. All the crates showing up. Then let's try loading some songs and everything's loading up fine. Uh, if we check the location column, we can see here we go. Volumes, my book. So that's the external drive. And so everything appears to have worked well. So there you go. That's basically the gist of it. That is how you move everything over from your internal drive to your new external drive and still have all your crates, uh, database, all your cue points and loops and all that stuff still show up. Oh, I forgot to mention, mention cue points, loops, waveform overviews, all that is stored in the files themselves, not in any of the Scratch Live folders. So uh, as long as you copy the music files over correctly, those will copy over as well. So there you go.